All right, so it says y equals 4 plus 2x, right? No. Or is it 2x plus 4? It's 4 plus 2x. It's 2x. y plus 4 plus 2 <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay. So what they want us to do for this problem is they want us to find the x and the y intercepts. All right? So what we need to do is you guys remember x and y intercepts. Um, You guys remember the x and y intercepts are where the graph crosses your y axis is the y intercept and where it crosses the x axis is the x intercept. Okay? So therefore there's a couple things you guys need to make sure that it's really important. At the x intercept, what is my remember a coordinate, right? These are points, these are what we call coordinate points. Remember a coordinate point has an x and a y. Right? An x coordinate and a y coordinate make up a coordinate point. So at this point, I've moved to the left, so therefore I'm going to have an x value. However, do I have my y value though? I do have a y value, but what is the value of my y value? Did I move up or down? Uh, no. What? For here, at this point, did I move up or down? Remember, well, I'm sorry, we're going from our origin, which is at 0, 0. So did I move this point to get to over here? Did I have to move up or down? No, so what we say, when I say what is the x-intercept, you could say y equals 0. All right? So therefore, go down that way, please. Therefore, what we could say is 0 equals 4 plus 2x. Mm -hmm. No? Kind of makes some sense? Uh, Maybe a little bit? I'm at that point right there. Zero. Okay, so now we need to solve. So if you guys remember our warm-up, we talked about you know, solving for x, or we did solve for y, but we want to solve for a variable. So therefore, guys, when you want to do this, remember, you've got to get your x by itself. So what's happening to my variable? Well, I'm adding a 4 to it, and I'm multiplying by 2. So we always undo addition and subtraction first. You, right? you guys remember me always saying that? So I'm going to undo addition of a 4 by subtracting. That's going to cancel to give me 0, so I'm left with negative 4 equals... 2x. Then, now what's happening to my variable? It's being multiplied by 2. So to undo that, I divide by 2. So therefore, x equals a negative 2, which you can see I moved over 2 units, right? And we can write it either the x-intercept is when x equals negative 2, or we can write it as a coordinate point, negative 2 comma 0, where negative 2 is my x value and 0 is my uh, y value. Right? Savannah? Uh, Got it? What was that? Exactly. Um, okay, so now if I want to find the y-intercept, if you look at here from this coordinate point, did I move left or right from the origin to get to this point? Did I have to move left or right? I right. How many units do I have to move right to get up to here? Four. None, right? You have to move up. You're not moving left or right. You guys, look at this. You start from the origin. I just go straight up the y-axis. I'm not moving left or right, right? Right. To go from here to here, you don't need to go right or left. You just go straight up. So therefore, we say x is equal to 0. So therefore, remember this is like a number line? I did, remember you start at 0 on the x-axis. I didn't go left or right, so x is still equal to 0. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in x or 0 in for x. So y equals 4 plus 2 times 0. <laughs> 2 times 0 is 0. y equals 4 plus 0. y equals 4. So you could say y equals 4, or you can write it as a coordinate point, 0, comma, 4, where 0 is your y value. I'm sorry, 0 is your x value, and 4 is your y value. OK? Now, I already did another problem up there for 24 for you. So now you guys have two examples, all right? Woo. Wow, one student.